What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and as you can see by the title, Harry Toffolo and Lewis O'Brien are now Forest players. So there was a, uh, a bit of a complication with this one through the week. Um, so the, the deal was on, uh, it was basically done. We heard that Lewis O'Brien travelled to Nottingham, had his interview as a club player, signed his contract, medical, all his pictures and media work. Lewis O'Brien was done. Harry Toffolo was then unhappy with something. I, don't, I, some, I, I believe it was about the wages or something like that. So he stalled the deal. And at one point, I believe it was on Tuesday afternoon, that the deal was off. And I mean completely off because Toffolo and Huddersfield was just not contacting Forrest at all. Obviously, Lewis O'Brien has still signed the deal, but he couldn't be confirmed as a Forest player because it was technically a double deal. We paid Huddersfield one amount for both players. Um, and then I think he had a change of heart, change of mind, something like that. Finally got his shit together and um, travelled down to Nottingham, signed the deal, had his medical, blah, 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 blah. Both got confirmed as Forest players yesterday. And um, obviously, Toffolo played last night against Hertha Berlin. And um, played okay, played decent, didn't do anything thingy. But a, l a lot of people have obviously thought Toffler would be behind Omar Richards, and I think he will. But Omar Richards is currently injured. So there was a rumour going around this week that he had a broken leg. It's not that severe. I think he's got a hairline fracture in his leg. Um, so he'll be out for, I don't know, a month or two. So Harry Toffler will start the Premier League season at left back. And... Um, could make it a chance to, to make it his own. And um, in my opinion, he was one of the best left-backs or left-wing-backs, whatever you want to call it. Last year in the Championship, he was outstanding, always was a threat in all the games Forrest played against Huddersfield last year. And um, going on to Lewis O'Brien, he was a cut above the rest last season in that central midfield position. Not many people in the league was better than him last year. He is a, a, a very, very, very good footballer and one that Forrest need. Um, we need midfielders in the door. And there's not many better out there than him at championship level to step up to the Premier League and try and prove himself because that's all these players are going to try and do, prove, trying to prove themselves in the Premier League. And um, such as Brentford did, Leeds did two years ago, Aston Villa did. Because Forest haven't been up there, not like a yo-yo club like the Fulham and Norwich, nobody knows how we're going to play. Nobody knows how to play against it. So people like Lewis O'Brien, who's got a point to prove, We'll go out there and give his 100% every single game. And people wouldn't know how to stop him because he was a championship player last season. Um, but in my opinion, two very, very, very good deals. And um, I think they'll both play a big part next season. If we stay up or not, I'm not too sure. And just to touch on Jesse Lingard, I will be making a video about it whenever it's announced that Fabrizio Romano and all big reporters around the world now are confirming Jesse Lingard had his medical last night, well, one part of his medical, and has agreed to him to Forest. The, the deal is basically done. We're just waiting on the second part of the medical, signing contracts, and then he's a Forest player, so come on, Forest. Anyway, drop a like on the video, subscribe down below, and I'll see you in the next one.